Hello, I'm Varun and I'll be taking you through the suits, blazers and trousers range for SS15. So since Nishkam has already been speaking about the Godson King's white and cream collection that will go into the bay look for the Godson Kings, let me continue on with that. Looks that will be complementing the Godson King's white and cream range in the suits, blazers section would be the ones you see right in front of you. What you see in front of you, this would be a bangala which is with ornamental buttons and made out of uh, wool, linen and silk and it has small jacquard patterns all over it and out of the same fa fabric but a different colorway we have an asymmetrical bangala made out of again wool, linen and silk and it too has the jacquard pattern on it and we have a three piece suit that is made out of wool and silk, a uh, very fine fabric and all of them are meant to be ceremonials and those are Indianized, this is western and in the same category, we have one more which is cotton silk, which is again a jacquard, uh, very ceremonial in nature. So that would be for the gods and kings. And since we have already started off with uh, the ceremonials, let's move on into our star icon, icon range, which is the PVs and TRs. So here, here let me present to you a few of the designs which have already been tried out, like this is the detachable collar which most of you would be aware of already. We have been using, we have started to use DTM, dyed to match uh, satin collars that are detachable. We have a notch lapel underneath and a uh, shawl lapel over, over, over that. So you remove the shawl lapel and you have a notch lapel underneath. And then this is another style that has been continuing. Uh, it's a shawl collar, stylized shawl collar with again DTM satin, dyed to match, navy blue, it's not a black, so people who do not want to pick a black for their ceremonials can go for these options, these are safe for auspicious occasions. So we have the Modi jacket or the Nehru jacket, uh, a continuing design, uh, it's the all new craze you see like the Modi jacket and this is with a green velvet and we see a loud but still subtle jacquard design a staple icon one and here are some new designs that we have in icon like a butterfly shawl collar with detailing on it and we have a modified bangala a new version of a bangala with additional buttons here buttons towards the center a stylized version of the bangala so that was part of icon so let's move on into city as we all know, city has been young and jumpy and still not too loud with lots of fine detailing going into it. So some of the designs continue on like the bias on the notch collar. So some of the fine detailings on city would be if you have noticed the pick stitch that goes on at the notch collar, the eyelet on the notch collar, the chisel, chisel cut thing that is happening here at the sleeve, there's a lot more of fine here, do you see that bias that's happening there, we have the bias happening here, here and everything, so we have a peak lapel here with bias flaps and we have also included uh, detailing on the inside this time like a zippered pocket that could fit in your mini iPad comfortably in there, you see that? There's another design. This is with patch pockets this time. Bias cut, bias cut. Detailing here, detailing at the elbow. So patches at the elbow. And it's half sculptured, so fits a summer look. It doesn't have a full sculpture, it's half sculptured. And we have our designs in our trousers complementing the designs that is happening on the blazers with so much of bias happening on the blazer, you would expect some bias to happen on the trouser. So there goes the bias on the pockets. And we have ticket pockets here, there, ticket pockets. So these are some styling that has gone into city trousers. And we have a lot of uh, polyviscose lycras happening in city. So that will allow for additional stretch and comfort both in blazers and in trousers. And from city, let's move on into permapress. Permapress would be our range of garments that's meant for the traveler. 
So we have chosen to use hop sack or high twist wool in uh, permapress. That gives the property of the fabric to bounce back right after it's been used. So you crush it and put it on your elbow, put it on your shoulder, give it to the air hostess. It's back up in no time when you are back in action. You wear it and it's back up there like it's fresh. So I show you a sample of permapress. So this is polyester wool garment. So wool rich mostly, permapress would be. And uh, here too we have uh, had a con we have decided to have a concept of all concealed pockets with zippers and everything. It's uh, the permapress blazers too could hold your iPad comfortably, iPad mini iPad comfortably, a passport comfortably, and a pen comfortably, and another cigarette case or something like whatever you want to fit in. All of them concealed, so you pass your jacket on to somebody. There's nothing falling out of it because all the pockets are concealed. So that would be the permapress. There's another permapress suit. And moving to leisure, in leisure this time, uh, in the linens, we have introduced a lot of colors, very summery colors. Uh, the range goes from lilacs to aquas to reds to yellows, anything, name it, and we have the color. So we have quite a big range of colorful jackets. This time, for, for example, you have a uh, linen aqua blazer. We have a Modi jacket. We have a full range of Modi jackets also in linen. The all new craze, like this one is out of red linen. We have other colors as well, just as I had mentioned before. Moving on to the innovations. Okay, the innovations this time, let me begin for the innovation in trouser making this time. We have introduced a new range of trousers called Elastica to hold your shirt back in the way it has been tucked in. So that's been a problem for most of us. As you would already know, the shirt coming out like every five minutes, you have to pull your shirt back, trouser back. So we have introduced a range of trousers with elastic at the waistband, that an elastic gripper that really holds your shirt back in when you tuck them in. So that's one of the innovations. This would be rolled out in a range of trousers in city. Going forward to the innovations in trouser design, we have introduced something called the perfect tuck this time. As the name suggests, this would be a trouser that will help your tucked shirt stay in the way it has been tucked. We all have a problem, as you might be aware, like we tuck a shirt in, in a bit we are trying to readjust it and things because the shirt is falling out and stuff. So we have introduced a new gripper with a rubberized thing magic that's happening inside that holds your shirt back in. It gives good grip. And this would be rolled out, this range of trousers called the perfect tuck, tuck would be rolled out in city range of trousers. And then we have another range of trousers called Elastica that is meant for extra comfort at the waist. So you have an extra big meal and you still feel comfortable after this trouser because this trouser gives you an ease of over an inch or two at the waist and not just at the waist throughout like it it is made out of polyviscose lycra so it's very comfortable generally as well and at the waist it almost has a stretch of two two inches one to two inches and there's not much of jazz in the form of uh, an additional elastic or additional hooks are happening it it is real formal to look from outside we at Louis Philippe believe in the constant pursuit of excellence. So this time we have chosen to look, relook at the very basics of suit and trouser making. We chose to work on three buckets, working on which would make the difference between a normal trouser and an exquisite trouser, or a normal suit and an exquisite suit. So the result has been the perfect suit and the perfect trouser. So what are the three buckets we have worked on? Simple, design, technique and craftsmanship, and trims and materials used. So the perfect suit. Some of the trims that have gone into the perfect suit are uh, very different, a new uh, chest piece with some new techniques on it, like the chest piece has been wetted before being put into the blazer. So the chest piece takes your shape better and has a better bounce. There's a lighter shoulder pad that has been introduced. The sleeve fall has been corrected to a great extent. So there's good sleeve balance and good sleeve expression from behind. And the lapel break point has been 
tuned to perfection and the roll on the lapel has been worked on and the barqueta shaped pocket has been introduced that that will be a little curved and that will be a little inclined than the normal one which is much more in let's say so that is the kind of work that has gone into this suit to make make it a perfect suit there's been a lot of eye to detail and there's a lot of perfection in every technique that has been involved then we have the perfect trouser some of the things that have gone into making this a perfect trouser let's start with the trims that have been used in the loop the size of the loop gripper tape that has been used inside the construction of the waistband so there's an all new gripper that you can see a uh, gripper style that you can see there's a pleated skirt that is on the inside which is the newest thing i would really appreciate this design it's it's it gives allows for much more ease on the inside and the thread that has been used on the inside that is on the seams etc are a filament yarn that 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 is much more lighter and slides through your skin even upon contact and there is a new construction of a gusset construction techniques used in making the gusset there's knee lining that has been in very good quality that has been introduced knee lining and the pocketing fabrics have been reworked on so it's much lighter it's it's much softer the hand feel it's comfortable on the skin so th that that would be the new zipper style so there there's a lot of detail i i would suggest if you get your hands on a perfect trouser or a perfect suit both of these are planned to be released in the gods and kings range so once you get your hands on you should really look at them look into the finer detailing of it and you would realize how much work has gone into the same thank you